Dick Fosbury won the gold medal in the high jump in the 1968 Olympics, jumping seven feet, four inches, and setting a world record. But in order to do it, he had to reinvent himself. Fosbury was a high school student in Oregon in the mid-60s, and a high jump was his passion. It was his sport. Uh, in order to qualify for the high school state championship, you had to jump a certain height during competition during the year. And Dick Fosbury could not quite achieve that cutoff. He was a good athlete, and the technique used at the time to do the high jump was something called the straddle, where essentially you ran up to the bar uh, and jumped over it, but to a significant extent going head first. If you read it in Fosbury's memoirs, what you'll discover is that he makes a statement that said, I desperately wanted to make it to the state finals, but I had to do something different. He couldn't meet the mark in order to qualify for the state championship. So here's a kid who was 16, 17, and he happened to be interested in physics. And in thinking about his dilemma, how was he going to make it to the state championship, a question dawned on him that forever changed the sport of high jumping. What he asked himself was, what if I went over the bar backwards? And uh, he practiced and practiced and created the Fosbury flop, which is now the standard way of performing the high jump and has been ever since 1968 when he won the gold medal jumping seven foot four inches. There's a story here that is worth elaborating on. And even a moral, if you will, and the moral of the story is that every system, including you, including me, is built to get the results it gets. And every system has a design limit. See, going over the bar forwards, frontwards, has reached its limit. And Fosbury reinvented himself by reinventing the jump. So change, better, faster, cheaper, tweaking the forward jump over the bar has a design limit. It's only going to get you so far. But transformation is about altering your way of being. When you go over the bar backwards, you're being completely different than when you go over the bar forward. And in so doing, Dick Fosbury was able to create an outcome that, until now, was not possible.